Remember when our biggest worry was recording our favorite songs off the radio? Well, times have changed and so have our living spaces. Today, we're going to dive into how to create a Zen minimalist home that still screams, I survived the 80s and 90s. Let's face it, we've accumulated a lot of stuff over the years. But don't worry, I'm not going to go all Marie Kondo on your personalities. We're going to find that sweet spot between Zen serenity and our rebellious Gen X spirit. First up, let's talk about decluttering. Now, I know what you're thinking, but my vintage concert t-shirts, don't panic. Minimalist, minimalism is not about getting rid of everything. It's about keeping the things that are important to you. So that Nirvana shirt totally stays. But maybe we can get rid of those 37 mugs you've collected over the years that, you know, don't really matter that much. Before we go any further, this is our coffee break. If you're digging this vibe, hit the subscribe button and leave a comment below. And tell me the one thing, the one item from your youth you absolutely refuse to part with. Some people still have Walkmans. I don't know. What, what's your thing? All right, now that we've tackled the decluttering, let's talk about incorporating Zen principles. Zen is all about mindfulness and simplicity. Think of it as a chill pill for your living space. Start with your walls. Remember when we covered every inch with posters? Well, now we're going for a more select approach. Choose one or two pieces that really speak to you. Maybe frame that vintage movie poster that you collected since college. I still have my Blazing Saddles poster. It'll stand out more against a clean, neutral wall. Next, let's talk furniture. The Zen aesthetic is all about clean lines, natural materials, but it doesn't mean your space has to look like a monastery. Mix in some vintage pieces with modern minimalist furniture. That leather jacket that you can't bear to wear anymore, turn it into a throw, throw pillow and boom, instant Gen Zen. Gen X Zen. I don't know. I'm making up words. Lighting is crucial in creating a Zen atmosphere. Ditch the harsh over lights, uh, overhead lights. We're not in a 90s sitcom anymore. Opt for soft, warm lighting, lamps, candles, maybe even some fairy lights. Create a cozy atmosphere that's perfect for both meditation and marathon watching of friends for the hundredth time. Now let's address the elephant in the room or rather the stuff in the room. We all have collections, whether it's vinyl records, books, or those Happy Meal toys we swore would be worth something one day. The key is to display them mindfully. Choose a few favorites to showcase and rotate them periodically. But it's like having your own little, you know, museum exhibit. Gen X fly, flag fly. <laughs> and get rid of our Gen X flies. While traditional Zen spaces often stick to neutrals, there's no rule saying that we can't add some flair. Choose a calming base color and then add pops of bold color that remind you of your favorite album covers or movie posters. Lastly, don't forget about a scent. A Zen space should engage all of your senses. Incense is traditional, but if that's not your thing, because sometimes the smoke can make people cough, try traditional essence oils or scented candles. Just maybe not the ones that smell like teen spirit. Remember, the goal here is not to erase your Gen X identity. It's about creating a space that reflects who you are now. A little older, a little wiser, but still rock and roll at heart. Your Zen minimalist home should be a place where you can blast sound garden one minute and meditate the next. So there you have it. A guide to Zenifying your home without losing your Gen X edge. It's all about balance. <clears throat> Just like how we balanced our checkbooks before online banking was a thing. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And hey, share your Gen X transformation in the comments. Until next time, keep your calm and rock on.